Geno Stone and Patrick Queen. Those are your boys. Those are your guys. We had them on the pod. Great dudes. We were rooting for them to get their bag. But I don't know if I expected it to come from these sources. Talk me through. Did you know they were going to sign? Like, are they texting the chat like, yo, like, just a heads up. This is about to get crazy. Or you're finding out and you're just like, what is going on here? What's the line? Because you got to get paid. It's a business. But yeah. that's the line yeah. as a lifetime yeah. raven. For Gino, you know, I was I was talking with Gino. You know, Gino, we've been we. I'll say this, you know, writing your goals is very important. Gino got cut in the past. Got I think he got cut twice. You wrote down, you know, what contract he wanted from the Ravens. You know, didn't get it from the Ravens. Got a nice deal with the with the Bengals. But anyway, I'm talking. I'm like, yo, Gino, like, what's the deal? Like, where are you going, bro? Like, where are you going? And he's like, you know, maybe this team, maybe this team. And then free agency, like, really gets close. And he's like, he hits a chase. Like, I got my teams. I'm like, so who are the teams? Like, you keep saying you got your teams. I'm like, do you actually have teams or do you – like, what's the deal, bro? Like, so he's like, I got my teams. I got my team. I'm like, okay, okay. So then he tells me it's – I'm not, I'm not going to put team, but he tells me it's two teams. He's like, the other team matched, apparently. I'm like – it's another team in the Bengals. And I'm like, so what's the like what's the deal? And before I know anything, it's the freaking Bengals. And I'm like, bro, like, what about the other team? <laughs> like, you know, like what what and he never really gave me the deal. I need to ask him again, like what so then like I'm like, dang, this dude really went to the Bengals. And like, this is the weird thing. You know, when you play for a team. Think, I'm thinking of myself. Like you play for a team, you know, you don't really, you don't really realize stuff. Like you know, like how much I guess your loyalty is to a certain team. Like you know, you don't really realize how the division really is until like your homie, like Gino's my guy, goes right. to the ops, and you're like, you know, so then and it's like I'm like Gino's calling me like, bro, ate dinner with the boys last night, you know, Joe Burrow and all these guys, and I'm like, oh nice like I, i'm like really happy for him and then it just every time i get happy it's like bro but you're with the bangles though like, and it's like you know i'm trying not to you know now that the the you know the it's kind of over now you now i can you know i can but i wasn't trying to you know i was like enjoy this bro like you know what i mean like this is cool blah, blah, blah. but i'm like screw you a little bit you know like like, like a tat and then i realized like you know there's a lot of safeties in the market i was like you know it's okay it's it like you know it, it's okay. You gotta get paid. I feel like was there that many major mega deals this year in free agency? Kirk got paid big time. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of any of the past rushers got paid like crazy. But I feel like no. isn't there usually more than what has happened this year? There was no like crazy signings, right? Like Donald retired. Mac restructure, like a bunch of restructurings, because I think, oh, yeah. like you're saying, like Matabike obviously resigned. Oh, yeah, yeah, resigned. But yeah. nothing like, no, like true free agent went somewhere else. Um, yeah, whatever. that is weird. Like, who was the. Like, Keenan got I, traded. I guess uh, the biggest safety was uh, Xavier McKinney. Right. Was there any wide receiver? Oh, Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. He, he was did. probably. Yeah, and then like With Saquon, the, obviously. Saquon going to the to the, the Eagles. Eagles. It's weird. Like, obviously that's like a rival, but me not being a part of that rivalry, that doesn't even seem that big of a deal. Like, it, it is a big deal. Obviously, it would be literally. But like you just the talked about the P. Like, that's their same thing. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's that's like what that was a weird thing to me about the PQ thing. Right. That like. I like I people are like super crazy that Saquon did that like the Giants fans and it's just like being that I'm not even a part of that either one of those teams like it was like oh he went to a rival cool and then it's like PQ is like how could you do this to us like it's like it's like night and it's it's just that's what it, it that that was just surprised me but yeah. yeah that was uh yeah I uh I never understood why the Giants didn't want to pay Saquon though I don't know if it was maybe injury history or 
or what. But I feel like the odd thing about this year's free agency is there's probably I can't think of a time where there was this many elite players in free agency. Yeah. Even there's plenty of guys that haven't even gotten signed. Like there's safety is kind of seems like it's kind of becoming the they're kind of treating them a little bit like running backs, I feel like. Yeah. It is the so, running back of defense now. They are like kind of getting a little bit undervalued. They're getting cut a lot. Except Kyle. Like Kyle, I think Kyle will be fine because he doesn't play that traditional role. But oh yeah, yeah Kyle like, can like kind of play in position. Yeah, your sit back safety for sure. 